As we ramp up production of our very first batch, we're giving away a mini meal on this episode. The Vichong project was just published, a fully open source and almost fully 3D printed 3D printer. And we're announcing the five winners of a Vichong kit. And we have massive news on the horizon. Rat Rick TV is only on its third episode and by the end of this one we'll have announced four new products and given away eight machine kits. Can you believe that? Is this the best YouTube show or what? And just you wait, we are just getting started. The winner of the last giveaway received a unique, one-of-a-kind V-Core prototype and was kind enough to share a video with us with his new machine. Let's take a look. That's an amazing printer, so thank you very much Rat Rick. And just to let you know what I typically print and what I will have on this uh, printer coming soon is I design and build RC planes. So can't wait to get another design on this printer. Thanks all. Awesome Neil, thanks so much for sharing. Since the last episode we've blown away past the 10,000 subscriber milestone. Wow! Thank you so much everyone for your support. Do you think we can get 100,000 before the end of the year? Because if we do, we're going to have to organize the most mind-blowing giveaway we've ever done. Today, we're going to be following up on everything we mentioned on the last episode, so let's go. The people have spoken and it looks like the Vichong, the almost fully 3D printed 3D printer, is a go. We received over 1200 replies to our public survey and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. People seem to have loved the name, so it looks like we're sticking to calling Vichong to our chonky boy. So we decided to publish the current version of the project on a public repo, all for free, all open source. Bill of materials, CAD files and STLs for the printed parts. Remember that this is version 0.2, meaning it's very much a work in progress, still under development. The project is still far from polished, but the idea is to open it immediately to the community so we keep building it together. Everything is now available for you guys to start building your own V-Chongs. Let's now take a look at this little beauty. And here it is, the very first release version of the V-Chunk. We just finished putting it together. It's now time to make it melt some Retric Punk Fuel filament. The Punk Fuel lineup will continue to expand over the next few months. We'll keep adding more and more colors and materials. On the last episode, I gave you a sneak peek of an upcoming color that is coming up soon. It's called Screaming Steel and it's a very beautiful color. We used it to print a die for the giveaway. Uh, for now, we have the signature Retri Gooey Green available in ABS. This is the filament we use to print all parts for our products. And the Brute Black is available in four different materials. We have it in the good old Petgy, of course. We have it on ABS, which is the color we're currently printing on our farm for our products. We have it also in ASA. And more recently, we added to the catalog Patchy reinforced with carbon fiber for extra toughness. So it's um, carbon fiber to make your parts even more sturdy than usual. This is a new filament and I thought it was quite fitting to use it on the new machine. Let's see how the V-Chunk fares printing this filament right now. Let's take a look. Hmm, looking good. And quite a tough print too. Looks like the chunk is tiny, but mighty. I'm super excited to report that since there's a lot of interest on the V-Chunk, we are moving the project to production and we will soon have kits available for sale on our website. I can't wait to see some chunks melting filament, which brings me to my next topic, the V-Chunk giveaway. On the last episode, 
we announced that we were going to give away five Vichon kits, hardware plus printed parts, and on the submissions form, we asked you to share with us the most modded and coolest 3D printer you own. This was not a random request, the point was to try to assess your DIY skills and modding chops because we really want the winners of this giveaway to inspire the rest of the community and show us all that a chunk can be. We reviewed over a thousand photos and it was quite tough because there were great submissions there, but after a lot of pondering, here are the five winners of the Vichonk giveaway. Congratulations to all the winners. We can't wait to see your V-Chunks in action. Make sure to share them with the community. I'm sure we're all dying to see what you can do with them. In the last episode, we introduced you to the upcoming Rat Rig Mills, the Mill and the Mini Mill. In the meantime, we published a couple of product pages on our website, including some images and specifications. We are going to keep adding information over time. The products are not available to buy just yet, but if you'd like to check out these pages, they are linked in the description below. Behind the scenes, we are working on the first production batches of these machines. We received almost a thousand applications to beta test these machines machines. There's a lot more applicants than units available right now, so we're going to be offering them to selections of our beta testing applicants over time. The first few rounds are going to be limited. Please be patient. I'm sure if you didn't receive an invitation immediately, you are going to receive one very, very soon. I'm very happy to report that we partnered up with Fabrico and are going to be present in Colorado at the Rocky Mountain Rap Rap Festival in late April and we're going to take a meal with us. I'm going to be there in person and I would love to show it to you. Make sure to drop by. And for this episode, we have a mini meal to give away. If you want to be one of the very first getting your hands on a mini meal, make sure to apply in the form below and share this video on every single platform. The more platforms, the more chances to win. If you've been paying attention to our socials, you know we've been teasing you for a month with cryptic content about a new release. Some of you are going insane with all the teasing and are ready to bite our heads off. Well, if there's still any doubts after the last few posts, I'm here to dispel them for you. The cat is finally out of the bag. Vcore 4 is coming. It's been two years in the making. Our team is still working around the clock to finalize the final details as we prepare to a big product unveil in just a couple of weeks by mid-April. The next Rat Rig TV episode is going to be exclusively focused on the Vcore 4. And if you'd like to stay up to date with everything Vcore 4 related, there's a link in the description for the Vcore 4 mailing list. And if you subscribe, you will also have the opportunity to receive an early bird offer so that you secure a place right at the front of the queue to buy a Vcore 4. If the Vcore 3 made the name for itself as a performance beast, Vcore 4 is really going to take it to the next level. And it also comes with two completely new, exciting new variants that are standing right behind me. This is just a sneak peek. I'm not gonna get into it. For that, you're gonna have to wait until the product unveiled in just a couple of weeks. If you'd like to see a Vcore 4 live and in person, we are going to send one to the 3D printer party in Madrid. Thank you so much to our partner Porta Chavi 3D for making this happen with us. And I'm also gonna be in person at the Rocky Mountain Rap Rap Festival in Colorado with our partner Fabrico. It's gonna be my first time there. I'm super excited to go and I would love to show the Rat Rig Mill and the Vcore 4 to you. Make sure to drop by if you can. At Rat Rig, we don't like leaving our users behind, so if you are the owner of a Vcore 3, rest assured you will be working on creating an upgrade kit to port some of the most important features of Vcore 4 into Vcore 3. That's it for today, huge exciting news just around the corner, and after yet another teaser, I know I'll have to hire some personal security and avoid dark empty alleys for the next few weeks. I appreciate how excited you've been about this release. Please channel that excitement through the comment section below and feel free to speculate what the Vcore 4 will bring. We may reward the best guests with something really special. Make sure to like and subscribe this episode so you don't miss out on the next one. Until then, my name is Sonat, I'm your host, and I'll see you soon.